afternoon, y'all. I just had to run back up to the house because it was about to start pouring down rain. We have one zucchini, one squash, and a couple of peppers from the mini garden today. We're about to make some zucchini bread. And then for supper tonight, I'm trying to decide if I wanna make the mushroom and Swiss burgers or if I wanna do the barbecue pork chops or some kind of pork chops because we ended up putting barbecue sauce on that chicken that we had last night or the night before last. We might just do some kind of baked or fried pork chops. And I have a zucchini and tomato pie recipe that I would like to make. And I could add this squash in with that too. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm still trying to decide about that. But right now we are gonna make some zucchini bread, a sweet zucchini bread this time. It's actually gonna be a zucchini and banana bread. Let's see, I'm thinking that this one giant zucchini is gonna be enough for this because I just need a cup and a half of shredded zucchini. Go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 and we'll get this started. Now this recipe makes two loaves of zucchini bread, so I'm gonna go ahead and make both loaves. A lot of times I'll cut it in half, but we're gonna make two. I might end up having to freeze some of this. Let's see, I just need to wash this. And we're not gonna peel it, we're just gonna take the ends off and shred it with the peeling on. The weather will be the judge of what we have for supper tonight. If when I get ready to make supper, if it's not windy, we'll do the mushroom and Swiss burgers. If it is windy, we're going pork chops. Okay, I'm gonna get two bowls and I need to go get the all-purpose flour. Y'all, I got a few different uh, wax melts for the little iron skillet warmer over there. Right now I have this whipped vanilla and blackberry in there and it smells amazing. I mean, it smells so good. When I came walking back in here, I was like, what? I think this is one of my favorite scents. It says uh, blackberry, raspberry, blueberry, vanilla, and cream scent notes. It smells really good, but you know what it kind of uh, smells like to me? Is the apple pumpkin candles and things that come out around the fall. Apple pumpkin, that's kind of what it smells like to me. But a little bit, maybe a little sweeter than the apple pumpkin. Anyway, it smells good. <laughs> there could have also been a little bit of that snickerdoodle wax melt still left in there, and it could be mixing with that. That could be what's making it over the top. Delicious smelling in here. <laughs> okay, we're putting in three cups of all-purpose flour. Now we need a teaspoon and a half of baking powder and the same amount of baking soda. Okay. A teaspoon of salt. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to fill up my salt shaker. And I probably need to get an apron. Now we need one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. It's really gonna be smelling good in here with the wax melt and then this zucchini bread bacon. Um, I think that's all the dry ingredients. Yeah, let me grab my whisk. Okay, let's set this over to the side. And in here, we're gonna put four eggs. I kinda hope that the rain and wind stops because I really want the mushroom and Swiss burgers tonight. Although I don't like mushrooms, I just, Really want a cheeseburger. All my boys love mushrooms though. Me and Cece don't like them. All right, we'll whisk the eggs a little bit. All right, so now we will put in this banana. I'm just gonna kind of mash it as I squeeze it out here. And I don't like with banana bread, I actually kind of like when there are a few little chunks of bananas throughout, so. There are still a little, few little chunky pieces of banana. That doesn't bother me. <laughs> I will break up any big ones though. All right, now we need one cup of vegetable oil. All right, two cups of sugar. And that's it for this part. We're gonna add this in to the dry ingredients, then we just have to shred our zucchini. I think we've got about a cup and a half there. That might be just a little more than a cup and a half. All right, now we'll get the loaf pans ready. Okay, these are 
are going in the oven for 45 to 50 minutes. I'll rotate them halfway through. Okay, it stopped raining for a minute, so while the zucchini bread is baking, me and Mr. Man are gonna get this corn ready to go in the freezer. One of our friends grows a wonderful garden and gets lots of corn. He gave us some corn last year, him and his wife, and they gave us some more this year. We'll throw these in this box and put the corn in here, okay? <laughs> we got a lot of corn in here. Yeah, and a yard. And I'm making sure no mosquitoes are getting us. One already got him on his face right there the other day. That's how he got that nickname, Skeeter Bite. <laughs> Last summer, they always wanted to bite his little cheeks. Um, is this funny? He thinks this is the funniest yeah. thing in the world. <laughs> we have a lot of corn. Yeah, we do have a lot of corn. I think I've decided on the mushroom and Swiss burgers for supper tonight. Even if I have to cook them inside, if it's windy. It's not windy right now. Titus is gonna be working late, so I'll save the pork chops night for when he's gonna be here in time for supper. and in the freezer. Now I'm gonna wrap up this zucchini bread here. It's already cooled down. I sliced the other one up and just sat it over on the table. For now, this one we're gonna put in the freezer. So I'm just gonna wrap it in some plastic wrap and then put it in a freezer bag. Y'all, there was a hummingbird right there at my flower. It was so pretty, I missed it. Oh, okay. Time to start the mushroom Swiss burgers. We have these sliced white mushrooms. Sissy's gonna wash these off for me. And I'm gonna slice up a yellow onion. With these burgers, we're gonna make hash browns, shredded hash browns. So, as soon as we get the onions and mushrooms ready, I'm gonna go ahead and start the hash browns on the black song because they'll take just a little bit longer than the hamburgers. Okay, Cece got those ready for us. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Blackstone on. Ah! I don't have a propane tank. There's no propane tank. I guess Daddy got that one. They didn't have any at the store the other day if to exchange. Hmm. In all fairness, I took it from him first, so. Guess we're cooking these inside now. He has to have the propane tank for his forge when he needs to shake horseshoes. All right, switch it up. We're gonna cook them in here. All right, we're gonna let the mushrooms cook down for about five to 10 minutes. And then we'll add the onions and a little bit of other stuff in there. I'm gonna go ahead and shake the hamburgers real quick. 